In this problem, we're being asked to use a method called synthetic division. And synthetic division really has the same effect as long division of polynomials. It's just sort of a, a shorthand way to do it that might be a little simpler uh, from time to time. The method is this. So here's our polynomial that we're dividing. And what you do is you set up a chart where you just take the coefficients of all these things. Just like in, in a long division, you need to make sure that this is in descending order of power and that you're not skipping any. Here we have the third power, the second power, the first power, the number, which we, you can think of as the zero power of x. Um, so these are all the powers in descending order, so that looks good. We can just pull their coefficients. This would be uh, negative 1, 3, 6, and negative 8. And you can see here, they've put these together in this little chart. They've put the division symbol up here. And then what we're dividing by, you take the number here, so x minus 4, and you just change the sign. Uh, so we've got a positive 4 out here. So we've got the positive 4, the opposite sign of, of this uh, number part of this term. And then we've got um, the, uh, the coefficients in descending order uh, of our polynomial. Now we're ready to divide, and the method here is a little bit simpler than with long division once you've got this set up. First of all, you start by just pulling down the first coefficient, so that's negative 1. Then you multiply. So 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4, that goes up here. Then you add, and really we were adding here, it's just that there was nothing to add it to. So 3 plus a negative 4 is negative 1. Then we multiply again. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Now we add. So each time you're adding and then you're multiplying and then you place that product up here. Okay. So let's go back to adding here. 6 plus a negative 4 is a positive 2. So 4, we're going to multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. And here we get negative 8 plus 8, that's 0. And that's really good. One of the things I like to do when I set this up is actually draw a line right here. Because this last chunk, that's going to be your remainder. Now, what we ended up with is negative 1, negative 1, 2. We have to translate this. Just as this was a coefficient, um, you know, the set of the coefficients, this is the set of coefficients for our, our answer. And since there are three places here, the first one's going to be x squared, then x, then the number. So this is a negative x squared minus x. And then we've got a 2 there, so plus 2. Our remainder is 0. So really, I could just write the answer like this. But if somebody asked for the remainder, you could say the remainder is 0. Or you could put it in that form where you add it to the end with the, um, the divisor uh, underneath. So this would be 0 over x minus 4. So that would be our answer. And that's a little bit of practice with synthetic division.